Here in front of me is a right side crash bar to a CX500 Honda. Uh, it'll fit all CX500s. It should fit uh, CX650s just fine. And it is a genuine Honda line. The way you can tell is they usually have a Honda line sticker down at the bottom. And then on the ends, they usually have a stamping here. This one says uh, KB20 and then like 249 above it. Uh, some of the 80s Honda ones will say like MF or at MF5 or or MB0, you know, things like that. Um, and then that correlates to which bike it comes off of. But, like I said, for a CX500 or 650, that's what it looks like installed. You can see this one still has its Honda Line sticker on it. Oh, and uh, the other side is just like this, but um, flipped around. It's, they're completely symmetrical, and they're really easy to install. I have a di another bike over here. This is uh, not the interstate model, so it doesn't have fairings on it, which makes it easier to show you this. So, here's that uh, crash bar we were talking about. It's simply you take it, the bottom will go under the exhaust, and the top will go over the exhaust, like so. And then the rear mounts right there. So, the, the rear mounts on that bolt, and then the front two, this front one will mount inside that bolt or behind that bolt, depending on what kind of hardware you have. Uh, you can either A, run a bolt into that nut, or you can just mount this behind that nut, your choice. And then up here, loosen up this engine bolt, slip this in its place, and then you're all mounted up as such. Easy peasy. Uh, other side, same exact thing. Completely identical, just flip-flopped, so they're still symmetrical, but it'll go over to the other side. You'll see, it's the same way. Hook it under, under the exhaust pipe, and then go above it, just like so. Same deal, uh, you have a bolt on the top, you'll have a, a nut or bolt on the bottom to go through, and then in the back here, you have that same engine mounting bolt or nut. And it mounts just like that. Same story. So any CX500, 650, or the turbo model, of course, any of those will fit these just fine. Uh, if you have a front fairing, sometimes it's it's not very easy getting to these front two bolts. Um, but that rear one is crazy easy to do. But you know, nothing too crazy. Pretty easy installation. Uh, it's actually one of the easiest, but we'll leave a video of that. If you ain't got these, they're pretty cool. And like I said, just crazy easy to install.